Hey everybody, David Rainey, the AI Guide, here for episode six on Tuesday. And I said last time, we're gonna start talking about the use of AI in different industries. And one of the first industries that AI had anything to do with was gaming. And this started all the way back at the Dartmouth College conference in 1956 where they were starting to try to program an AI to play checkers. Now checkers is a simple game with simple rules. And so since AI is software, it was easy to program an AI to play checkers because you could use simple if then commands, which is what was relevant at the time back in the late 50s and early 60s. So by the early 60s, an AI could play checkers, and that was hugely publicized back in those days and was part of what made uh, AI get so hyped up back then. But AI couldn't really go beyond that due to limitations of computing power back in the 60s. So the first AI winner came and AI research stopped. But then when it started back, by the 80s, an attempt was made by IBM to develop an AI that could play chess, which is a much more difficult game than checkers. And this took many years, and the first iteration of the AI to play chess developed by IBM was called Deep Thought. And back in those days, Garry Kasparov was the world chess champion and really unbeatable <laughs> back in those days. And so back in 1989, Deep Thought tried to play Garry Kasparov the first time and lost. This was the end of another period of hype of AI, and the second AI winter arrived. Nevertheless, IBM kept working on an AI to play chess. So their second iteration was called Deep Blue, and by the time that the second AI winter was ending and the current period of AI boom that started back in 1995, was starting to get in gear in 96, Deep Blue played Garry Kasparov again. And it lost four games to two, but this was the first time that an AI had ever won a match in chess against a world champion. So this was huge news. And as we've talked about before, there hasn't been a bust since back in 95 because AI and continues to get better and better and better because computing power and big data is allowing it to become more and more powerful. Well, the very next year in 1997, Deep Blue and Garry Kasparov had a rematch. And this time, Deep Blue won three and a half to two and a half games, half games being ties. And this was revolutionary. It was the first time that an AI had ever beat a world champion at anything. And Deep Blue had beat Garry Kasparov, who was unbeatable at the time, practically. And so this turned into big, big news and really led to further growth and development of AI. Next time, we're gonna finish up gaming as an initial discussion. Now there's stuff ha happening in gaming with AI all the time, now, today, but we're sort of looking back during this current AI cycle, but early in the period. So I'll see you on Saturday, and thanks so much if you like it, please subscribe or give me a like. Take care and be safe during the corona.